living legend aged 77 Ngonyini is still actively practicing her craft using her wealth of experience to empower young actors and encouraging them to get involved in arts and culture Ngonyini recently stayed in a local soapy in 2016 she received a lifetime achievement award at the SA film and television awards she also used her talents to contribute to South Africa's struggle for freedom. We then did a protest theatre, defying the government of the day. You know, I'm not going to say we used e politics, but in defiance of the governing rules. So that was a big challenge and persecuted by the special branch. But uh, we went beyond that. Here we are today. Gonyin is from New Brighton, a township that is also home to Winston Jonah and John Garney. Even with such a remarkable career spanning the apartheid period, she still longs for transformation. I cannot say there are any changes. You see, before it disbanded the company, I was working for PECT, which was. Uh, Performing Arts Council of Transvaal. Nalabo had to knock hard on their doors because then they did not accept us. But I knocked and I did my thing. I was accepted. I worked for PECT for 14 years and then it was disbanded. Now this present government doesn't see it fit that there should be a company. Born in Port Elizabeth in 1942, Ngunyuni is internationally known and featured in movies such as Red Dust, Catch a Fire of Good Report, as well as the 2013 film Zulu. It humbles me. I feel honored that I'm getting this award. Though Timna, it's long overdue. Maybe the previous presidents didn't know about me and discovered me. Ngonyini will be back in front of the camera next month to film on an international series. Zolani Moya, SABC News, Port Elizabeth.